Hello and welcome to It's Beginning to Look a Bot Like Christmas. Now, it's only fair to warn you at this stage, there will be more terrible puns and some pretty awful Christmas cracker jokes later on. Okay, disclaimer done. I'm Keith Atherton and I've been a software developer for over 20 years working in the UK and US, mostly with Microsoft technologies such as .NET, C Sharp, SQL Server and I'm currently learning more about Azure. A big thank you to everyone who organised this excellent Festive Tech Calendar 2021 event, particularly Gregor Sutty and Richard Hooper who do awesome work in the community. Their Twitter channels are on screen now. And a special thank you to you for joining me here today. In this talk, we'll look at some cool Azure services, specifically Azure Q&A Maker, which enables you to create and publish a knowledge base with built-in natural language processing capabilities. And the Azure Bot service, which provides a framework for developing, publishing and managing bots on Azure. We'll use these services to create a web hosted bot, which answers festive related questions. So this talk is all about the demo, so let's ditch these slides and dive right in. First off, go to qnamaker.ai in a browser and sign in using the Microsoft account associated with your Azure subscription. The Q&A Maker service is a cognitive service in Azure that enables you to quickly create a knowledge base and for our demo we'll do this to create a knowledge base with our festive related trivia. So in the Q&A Maker portal select create a knowledge base. We'll then get this wizard to take us through everything. So first off step one we need to create a Q&A service so we'll click on this this will now take us to the Azure portal. So this is where we're going to create the resource uh, for the Q&A service. So going through the options here, subscription for me is pay as you go, resource group, I'm actually going to create a new one here. So let's call it uh, Festive Tech Calendar 2021. Uh, resource group location, I'll choose somewhere closer to me. I'm in the UK, so I will go with UK South. Uh, the name for the service, I'll go with Festive Tech Calendar Q&A. Under pricing tier, we will go for the free one. That's all we need in this case. And then scrolling down to the uh, Azure search details, uh, we'll go for the, uh, again for me, I'll go with the UK South again, that's closer to me. Uh, pricing tier, I'll just go for the, the free one. And app service details for runtime. Uh, we'll leave the app name as uh, FTC Q and A, uh, but I'll change the location again, somewhere closer to myself, so UK South. And you do have the ability for app insights as well, uh, as it says for telemetry and for chat logs. Um, worth a thought with production, but for this demo, we'll disable that. That's not something we need. So I'll go ahead and disable and then I will click review and create. Everything's looking good. We'll go ahead and create. To save time, I've skipped over the deployment, which took around one minute for me. So next, we're gonna go back to the tab with the Q&A maker. We're gonna scroll down to step two, and this is where we connect the Q&A service to the knowledge base. So we click on refresh to then uh, refresh the options and find the new Q&A service. So for Microsoft Azure Directory ID, I'll leave that as default. Azure subscription name, I will select pay as you go. And now under Azure Q&A service, we should see the new Q&A service that we've created, which we do. So we'll go ahead and select that. Great, that's loaded. Sometimes it can take a few minutes for the endpoints to be created, so you may get a message at that stage. Next, we'll select the language, and for this, we'll go for English. Great. Now, scrolling down to step three, name the uh, knowledge base. We'll go ahead and call it uh, Festive KB. Uh, we'll move on to step four. So this is populating the knowledge base. So just as it says there, 
we uh, we want question and answer peers it's typically FAQ format um, and when we select this we can populate the knowledge base there's a few options so we can choose a URL here so you can point to an FAQ hosted on a website and it will go ahead and scrape all the question and answer peers uh, and put them in the knowledge base today we're actually going to use a, a file so we're going to click on this add file um, now the file we're going to choose is one that I've prepared earlier so I'll just go ahead and open that one up um, and it's this one just here so it's just full of Christmas and festive trivia you can see a few things here um, and again just based on this document format the uh, the system smart enough to read this and pull all that data in for us so we'll go ahead and select that file and when we scroll further down we also have a chit chat option um, this is really cool you can either select none or you can give it somewhat of a personality by choosing professional friendly or so on again it depends what you need this chatbot for one may be more appropriate uh, than another um, in this case we'll choose friendly now when you choose one of these options it does actually come with a lot of predefined uh, question and answer responses so things you know small talk chit chat things and it can be really cool and we'll we'll look at that a bit later on as well so moving on to step five final step we'll go ahead and create the knowledge base so we'll go ahead and click that again to save time I've skipped over this process it took around 30 seconds and now we can see the knowledge base has been populated we have all the questions and answers from the festive FAQ document right here we can see the questions on the left and on the right hand side we can see our answers and we can see there are other options as well so for the questions we can add alternative phrasing with the answers we can add follow-up prompts and if we want to remove an entry we can uh, we have delete buttons on the right hand side as well if we wish to manually add uh, question and answer peers as well we can click ahead on this button right here and uh, we'll add something here let's see um, uh, which reindeer has a red nose and we'll give it the answer of Rudolph and just click off there so we've added an entry manually now which is which is a good option another thing we can notice as well these pages in the knowledge base most of these pages are actually the predefined entries from the chit chat that we looked at earlier so when we pick the friendly chit chat I'll just go ahead and click on one of these now I don't know I'll move to page three uh, here we go so we can see the source for this is the Q&A chit chat because I selected friendly and again there was professional and many others in there too so these are the kind of small talk chit chat responses we've got and we can do a test later on to see that these work so uh, let's see do you have a boss the answer is I'm here for you you can see there's there's several questions here that have the same response and the same on the follow-up pages as well so now that we've got uh, the knowledge base all up to date we can go ahead and test it in the uh, in this portal so what we're going to do is first go to save and train this shouldn't take too long based on the uh, the amount of data in the knowledge base great that's it all done now we're ready to test we can test in the portal by clicking this test button right here you can see it's opened up a window right here where we're we're good to go good to give it a shot so let's just say hi okay we're getting a response from the uh, the chatbot uh, which is great so we'll go ahead and test with one of the Q&A pairs in this case maybe just the one I added manually so uh, which uh, reindeer has a red nose and very quickly it comes back with the answer we expect which is Rudolph uh, a really cool feature in this as well is when you click on the inspect button right here you actually get the breakdown of how it shows that answer uh, so the question going in the answer just here the, the correct answer that we were expecting and we can see a confidence score which is really handy so because I used the same exact wording we could see a hundred here for the confidence score
uh, what I'll do is go ahead and ask the same question but I'll just use different wording let's see um, who is the red nose reindeer thinking away and again it comes back with the answer we expect of Rudolph so I'll go ahead and inspect this particular answer um, again question going in answer coming out as Rudolph we can see the confidence score is very high but it's just under 100% it's 98 um, this is probably because of the different wording but it's still close enough that it could give us the answer we need and this is one of the benefits of the uh, natural language processing is that you don't need the exact wording you know it can be similar it can be worded a different way you know the other way around and it can still give us the answers that we need so that test is all done we'll go ahead and click test to remove the testing pane and what we need to do now is to make this knowledge base available to a bot uh, we must publish it as a service that can be accessed over HTTP so we'll go ahead and click on publish great and we're good to go ahead and click publish here too and what we'll do now is use the Azure bot service to create and host a bot that uses the uh, the knowledge base to answer user questions so uh, great that's been deployed we'll go ahead and click on create bot this is going to jump us back to the Azure portal again uh, where all our resources are great so for the web app bot we have a lot of options here we'll leave mostly defaults so we have a bot handle subscriptions correct the resource group I'll keep the same I'll change the location again um, I'll pick somewhere uh, closer to myself so let's see what do we have UK South pricing tier I'll just go with F0 that will be good enough uh, we've got an app name we do have an SDK language so with bots you can actually take a copy of the code customize it make changes um, if if you wish and you've got the choice of C-sharp or Node.js uh, we won't be looking at that today but I'll just leave default as C-sharp we have a Q&A auth key uh, we can leave the rest of these as defaults and go ahead and click create again to save time I've skipped over the deployment it took around one minute so we're going to click on go to resource and now we've got the web app bot resource and we're on the overview page and we can see a few options right here so we can download the bot source code this is something we mentioned in passing earlier where you can actually download the bot source code and using C sharp or JavaScript you can actually customize it and make changes if you wish we won't look into that today uh, but it's a cool option the other option we can do we can actually test the bot in a, a web chat so we'll go ahead and click on this great so the uh, web chat has opened up in this frame right here we can see the uh, uh, the web app bot has actually started the conversation with hello and welcome so we're going to go ahead and give this a test now something from the uh, Q&A uh, that we fed in was uh, who was the author of a Christmas Carol let's give that a shot great so we get Charles Dickens which is what we expect um, and again with things like natural language processing one of the benefits is we don't need the exact wording we can come up with a you know slightly different wording but we do expect the same answer so let's try that now we'll try um, uh, let's see who wrote a Christmas Carol great and we get the same answer again which is what we expect um, now when we was looking at the knowledge base we also had those predefined chit chat responses for the small talk so I'll go ahead and try one of those now which was uh, I think one of them was who is your boss I'm here for you yep that's the one that's exactly what we expect um, okay great let's give this uh, another another test while we have it open so let's see uh, what is the best Christmas present in the world 
a broken drum you just can't beat it yeah um okay so moving on uh let's ask it a bigger question i mean let's let's take full advantage of this chat but uh let's see what could we ask a big question um okay is die hard a christmas movie yes of course okay well that seems conclusive so uh what we'll do is we'll go back to the uh, overview great so we've done the uh, web chat test now the other option is you can publish this to azure and you've got uh, various channels so what we'll do is on the left hand side we'll click on channels now the really cool thing with this is that with this bot we can actually go ahead and publish this to alexa facebook messenger uh, Microsoft Teams, there's several places we can actually uh, host this. So what we'll look to do today is get the HTML for this uh, bot and place it in our own web page. So what we need to do first is click on the get bot embed codes and right here we get a HTML snippet of, uh, of the bot so we can embed it in our own page. So we'll go ahead and copy that to clipboard now I've just prepared a very very basic page already just with uh, my festive KB chatbot at the very top of the page I'll just go ahead and paste that HTML snippet so you can see it's creating an iframe we have the source for the bot itself and we have some basic information on the uh, on the size just there and one thing we have as well is your secret here so that's the thing we need to replace with our own secret to point it to our chatbot so what we do is we go back to the portal and if we click on web chat great so now we've got the information here we, we can see secret keys we'll show the first one we'll go ahead and copy that and paste it into your secret here and save that and then what we'll do is open up the page in the browser great so we can see just the basic piece of text at the top this is our page and then we can see the bots actually started the conversation with hello and welcome so what we'll do is we'll just test this to make sure the bots working as expected so uh, let's try um, what does Santa suffer from if he gets stuck in a chimney claustrophobia yeah so I know what you're thinking I've got a cool idea for an AI project or bot project so before you get carried away there are a few things to consider Microsoft have created uh, some really cool responsible AI resources uh, and it's really thinking about the ethics of AI and how to use it and they've got these six principles showed on the screen we, we won't go through them one by one but they are things covering things like fairness uh, inclusiveness um, taking accountability for the AI's decisions is really important stuff and I'd highly recommend giving that a read as well as that uh, Microsoft have also come up with 10 guidelines um, for bots themselves very specific to bots um, again we won't go through them all but they can be things along the lines of making it clear to a user that they are actually chatting with a bot and not with a human um, you know being transparent with them uh, that you're using bots uh, accepting responsibility uh, for the bot itself uh, so again there's uh, more information at the link shown at the very top just there If you've made it this far, thanks for watching. Uh, and if you've enjoyed it, feel free to share on social media using hashtag Festive Tech Calendar 2021. Please do check out the other great content uh, from the Festive Tech Calendar 2021 event at festivetechcalendar.com. Also, Festive Tech Calendar is raising money for Girls Who Code, which is a fantastic cause. And if you do wish, you can donate money using the link shown here. Uh, every donation helps.
if you want to reach out to me my contact details are on screen now and I hope you and your loved ones have a happy and healthy festive season bye for now